Hey guys, it's TF now. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another action fig review. This is going to be of the brand new Marvel Legends series Infinity Ultron series, part of the newest Disney Plus wave, Hawkeye and Kate Bishop from Marvel Studios Hawkeye, the Disney Plus show, which I really like that show. So I was excited to get these two figures. These two have come in before any of the other figures that I pre-ordered. I did have all of them pre-ordered at once, but I am gonna hold off on Sharon Carter and She-Hulk and Miss Marvel, and I'm hoping the Moon Knight figures come in soon. But I did want to do a double review of these two because, I, again, I really like the show. And I've been wanting to get a Hawkeye MCU figure for a long time, and Kate Bishop in the show was also really awesome. Just taking a quick look at both packagings, which is the previous packaging. <sighs> it's the last time we're going to get it. I'm going to cherish this moment. Uh, both of them in the you know box here looking really nice. We have different logos in the back of the packaging there, of course, with arrows and... You know, bullseyes and all that looking nice. Figures in the box with all the contents. It does say Marvel Studios Hawkeye as well as the characters' names towards the top left of this Disney Plus and the Hasbro logo. When we get to this side, it has both the uh, characters right there, just images of the actual actors. And then it's pretty much the exact same on this side. I believe it's reflected. On the on top of both these figures, it's the Hawkeye logo right there. And then it says, say, Mar uh, you know, pull the figure Infinity Ultron, ages four and up, as well as the warning choking hazard. Looking just to make sure what else there is around here. But you get to the back here, and I'm going to try to provide an image of Hawkeye's read-up first. So you can pause and read that right now. And then Kate Bishop's read-up, if you want to pause and read that right now as well. And you can see here we do have both images of the uh, actors right there. Mine from Amazon for Kate was a little warped there but you can see you know infinity ultron built all the way here and all the figures in this series is very stacked series multilingual uh warnings and all that okay let's get both of these figures out of the packaging and here are both figures out of the packaging giving you a 360 with both of them on the base here i've only gotten to mess around with them for a little bit but i am very satisfied with what we have here I think the Hasbro Marvel Legends team did a really good job with these figures. I think they're almost perfect with these particular versions of these characters, save for a couple of minor things. Let's go ahead and take a look at Hawkeye first. We'll take a look at his accessories, then the figure, then we'll do the same for Kate. So for the Build-A-Figure piece, we have the left arm of, of Infinity Ultron. The biggest thing about this is with a lot of these figures where they don't want to commit to painting it in a metallic way, and they mold it in this slightly shiny metallic plastic you know you see like something going on with the plastic right there in the shoulder in some areas like up in here that's not supposed to be sculpted like that like that's in the plastic so i think the overall sculpting of it right now is really nice looking and the gold on here looks good too and we have pinless tech uh eventually i will build this and time will tell you know just how good this looks completely built i've seen images of it built on instagram it's not amazing but i don't think it's also god awful either we also get these pair of fists right here uh, i'm gonna have to quickly focus back up for you guys these look really nice I, if I, these are from a previous sculpt they're definitely retooled because you could see like where the purple meets the skin tone that's actual like i feel sculpting right there not perfect with the skin tone paint you can see some of the purple on there but i think it's going to be hard to tell once you have it posed and you know a little bit farther away from your face like i have this right up to the camera right now so that's why you can tell the rest of it again not the cleanest paint apps on this with the skin right around the thumb going onto the purple but that's not bad the back of this hand looks really nice with the black there I, there's something's going on with the plastic there's a, a little bit of excess plastic that doesn't look amazing but uh that, that might be a speck right there on the purple on the palm as well and i think on the ring fingers there's a, there's a little bit of purple too where there shouldn't be but the back of the hand with that sculpting all oh, that looks really nice. So I'm digging these. We also get his bow. This bow I think looks really nice. This is most definitely a uh, different sculpt from what we've been getting for years. And I thought that sculpt was always pretty nice, but this plastic was just too soft on those previous bows. Here, it's definitely a unique sculpt. So it is a soft here, of course, but it's sturdier, so it won't be too warped, um, or at least like naturally warped uh, with how this plastic is done. The wrapping around the handle looks really good. It's just mostly molded in this glossy black plastic. So, you know, you may want to hit it with a matte coat. I mean, unless it's supposed to look like this in the show, I don't exactly remember. But if you want to customize this, uh, customize this a little bit, I think 
Now it'll look a little better with certain like matte coats of paint if you wanted to uh, do that. But as it looks right now, I mean, I could tell the black is bleeding through a little bit through the tape right there. But this still looks really good. And he only has one uh, hand for holding, you know, just in the right hand, which I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be using it in his left hand. I don't exactly remember. That's not that big of a deal to me. Last but not least is his quiver. This is a different quiver that we've gotten before as well, which actually has some purple on the uh, the end. I, for, I don't know exactly what the term is called for the ends of these arrows, but uh, the, they didn't paint on the back here, unfortunately. This is all in a matte black sculpt, which actually kind of looks a little bit leathery. I dig that. There's even some, what I guess would be like seam lines or stitching. I don't really know what that would be on the bottom there. But there are those details there and it looks nice. We have this very large peg here. Here's what the back looks like, which I didn't realize this from the show, but this outfit's design incorporates an actual strap built into the chest. So that's kind of cool, but because of that, there's no like soft plastic piece. It's all a sculpted, uh, you know, strap, which that's, you know, won't get in the way of articulation, but I don't think it looks the greatest. And I'll get into that, you know, more of the detail of the figure in a second. But you pop that in there and it fits in there rather nicely. You can move it around like this. It's a little tight when you move it in there, so I wouldn't do that. I would pop it out, do it like that. I would not rotate it in the way there often because it feels like it's giving me too much resistance to where something might break. But pop that in there, stays on there rather nicely. Here's a side-by-side -side image of Jeremy Renner with this figure. I, I feel like I say this a lot with some of these figures. It is almost like a perfect likeness. I think the overall sculpt of the head is very spot on. And while I like the face printing tech, I think some of the paint that gets used here for it just ever so slightly makes it a little less perfect of a likeness. But it's still really close. Like, this is undeniably Hawkeye from the show. And this is a really nice looking face sculpt, seriously. I'm glad to finally have, you know, besides Ronan, a good uh, MCU Hawkeye in my collection. I have not been able to get one before. We do have a few areas of paint it's mostly just paint you know no actual sculpting of marks right here so there's a little bit of blood on his cheek as well as the bandages also have some individual sculpting uh it's not super prominent but it's still nice enough and they're they actually painted that scar right there very nicely to where it doesn't get muddled uh so i like that and the overall eyes you know the facial hair i think that's what is i think it's a little too prominent here in the face but it's still nice the way that they have uh, applied it you can see a little bit of some graininess in the face printing around the nose and che uh, cheeks, I think. Um, it still looks nice. There's even some forehead wrinkles that have some paint and some sculpt in there. They even sculpted the uh, hearing aid. It's very faint, but you can see a little bit of orange in there. And the overall hair sculpt looks really good. Uh, paint could always be better. A lot of the times I just mold you know, the, the plastic like this. There's not that much paint, but it still looks really good the way that the sculpting is done with the hair. I dig that a lot, as well as, you know, the consistent flesh tones with his face. It doesn't, for some reason, doesn't look that consistent right now on camera, but it is consistent, the face and the neck. And that and this neck system is really cool, which I'll talk about more in articulation. This overall suit is really nice. They have a lot of prominent sculpting, like separated sculpted areas where the purple meets the black here of that logo, or really just the design. Uh, and there are some areas where there's actual sculpting with paint on there, like around the chest these you know lines with that light gray there's actual sculpting however the rest of it around here doesn't have prominent sculpting it's just painted on lines i think that these lines are really clean though so i'm not going to complain too much there's even some sculpting going up in the uh you know the torso and that's consistent as you can see uh, I, I can tell it looks a little off the way i just have it bent but at least it's consistent to where you can move that hey look those lines going up here is consistent. There's even a little bit of subtle sculpting details like right here where my index fingernail is, and that right there. And I thought that this right here, moving on to the arms, this was a uh, paint splotch, the way that there's that light purple and that dark purple, but it's pretty consistent with how this, uh, this one's going with here. So I'm pretty sure that's part of the design. Lots of nice separation of purple and gray where the black molded area is. And I believe, yeah, I believe this is mostly molded in black and painted in purple. Figuring out exactly what is painted and what is sculpted, it can be a little bit hard. Like I think that this is molded in purple and then they painted the black on here, but I could be wrong. 
Either way, the fact that I can't tell, I think is a good sign because it, it is a really good quality, unlike with some of the other stuff we've been getting lately. I feel like I say that a lot with some of, you know, new Marvel Legends, but I think the fact that I can see the figure in the box, <laughs> is it helps. We do have pinless tech here. On camera, this elbow does look a little bit lighter than the rest of the arm. In person, it's not that bad. The biggest complaint I have when it comes to like skin tones is this is definitely molded in purple and they painted the skin tone on there. And because of that, since there's like two different colors almost meshing together, you have, uh, uh, this actually might, no, I was I thought it was molded in black for a second, but I do believe it's molded in purple. This is not gonna be super consistent with this. It's a little too tan, uh, that's about it. And sometimes the, the paint looks a little splotchy with the skin tone, but it's not too bad. A little bit of something weird going on with that pinky with this actual sculpt. This hand looks really good, the back of the hand with the detailing, the actual wrinkles in the knuckles, all of that looks sick. If this is, I actually don't know if this is a retooled hand, this might be reminiscent of like a Spider-Man crawling hand, but this looks great. Same thing here, not sure if this was reused, but you know, you have the index finger that is slightly warped here, unfortunately. Give you a quick look at these arms again, lots of nice wrinkles in areas, you know, that, that um, in the arms where there should be wrinkles. Again, the pinless text is really nice. There's not a lot of paint on the back of the figure, unfortunately. You can see some sculpting right here of these lines around the straps, and the actual strap has a, uh, you know, has some sculpting, some wrinkles, of course, and they do have some patterning, uh, like molded into the uh, actual suit, I think, which does look nice, but the overall paint is just lacking a bit on the back. I don't know if that's supposed to be accurate. I think there should be like a little bit of like some gray in the back. I forget exactly. Uh, if it's supposed to be like this, then I'll eat my words. <laughs> uh, then we're gonna move down to the uh, lower torso then the legs and all that. So getting to the butt here, uh, you can see, I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, they do have some nice pockets actually sculpted and it looks like they actually have some more sculpting there. So if you move them, you know, it, it's not supernatural looking like it's the longest pocket in the world, or back pocket, but you know, at least they, you know, kind of that, uh, you know, we're going to kick this out. So they might as well sculpt something here to make it look at least a little bit more consistent. So I'm not gonna knock it too much there. You know, I feel like the sculpting in the front, yeah, it, what, what more do you need? You know, the zipper and front pockets, that's all. So not much there. We do have some lines, some seam lines, uh, seam lines, I should say, sculpted on the outside as well as the inside. And you get that pinless tattoo around the knees and it looks like the, um, the black knee here is consistent with the rest of the color black used. So that's good um, since, you know, sometimes, like I said with this, the, you know, pinless tech can make some of these joints look a little lighter. They do, it feels like they've molded the, these legs in a type of patterning to make it look like a jean or cargo pants type material. So I dig that a lot. We do have some, a lot of nice wrinkles around the legs, you know, and the knees, of course, uh, down to the, the actual calves and the shins, lots of wrinkles there too. On the back of the knees, there's not much sculpting here. Sometimes they'll do some sculpting uh, to make it look consistent, but I think it would have gotten in the way of articulation and it's really not a big deal with me. It's just something I notice sometimes. And then you get down to the boots. They're very dark brown to where they almost look black, but these look nice. I don't know if they're reused or retooled from anything, but we do have some laces sculpted on the top, nice wrinkles all throughout and the bottom of the feet. Uh, there's a little bit of treading, but not a lot. So yeah. I really like this, you know, unique sculpt that they have for this figure. Articulation is really good on this figure. We do have this hinge and a ball uh, joint up here at the head. So it goes back like that and a separate ball joint into the neck. Be careful when you move this head back and can crease the back of the neck a little bit. And this is a little bit tight as well, but it allows for a really good back, really good down like that. And then swiveling is no problem. You can even swivel at the actual neck and allows for all this really nice range of motion like tilting and rotation. Arms could go forward and back, you know, at the butterfly joint goes back really well, but forward's not amazing. Arms go all the way around though. They go in and out, upper arm swivel. We do have a uh, double jointed elbow. It's not too tight here. Sometimes it's just way too tight, but it's tight enough. So that's good. Hinge and swivel at the wrist is for all sets of hands. The back motion's pretty nice for the crunch. Could be a little bit better, but not horrible. Uh, we do have, uh, you know, going forward, I should say, and we do have waist twists, no problems there. Legs could kick out just a little bit better, yeah, but uh, that's not too bad. 
The back motion is almost non-existent though. We do have pretty decent splits, upper thigh swivel. We do have double jointed knees. And then you have a pretty nice down motion at the ankle. Uh, up could be a little bit better, but you have ankle rockers. Moving on to Kate Bishop's accessories and the build figure piece. This is the right leg to the Infinity Ultron, which again, this, the I, I went over my problems with uh, how this silver plastic is done with the arms. But the gold on here is rather nice. I think the overall sculpting again, looking really clean. Now with these alternate hands, as you see here, so these, these are just relaxed posed hands. We have, they're, they're, they're pretty symmetrical. Black on the uh, thumbs, of course, the skin tone's peeling out a little bit on the thumbs and pinky, but it's mostly molded in this very light purple. Almost looks like it's pink, but it's definitely a light purple. The sculpting on the back of the hands with the wrinkles looks nice and some of the texturing, like some of these lines that are supposed to be in there in the design. And as well as on the palms, that looks great. And then we have her bow as well. And this bow is, again, we have a unique sculpt here. Hopefully, you know, if they redo Hawkeyes in the future, they give us these uh, sculpts here. So it is, again, a glossy black mold, just like Hawkeyes, but this lighter brown finish, this matte paint on here looks really good on the sides. So yeah, that that's really nice looking. The overall sculpting is like the notch. And again, the, uh, the string here with being a little bit of a it's a soft plastic, but it's harder than it used to be with the, uh, you know, some of the comic, uh, you know, Hawkeye figures. Yeah, that's that's really nice. A little bit of a splotch right here. I noticed that. Maybe I can scratch that off later, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Do I, I do want to mention, I do believe that this strap and this harness all can pop off if I pop off the head. Maybe I can do that real quick. This might, oh man, that's actually really tight. It looks okay. I'm trying to see. Hopefully, I don't take too long doing this. It looks like this ball joint is going to get in the way the most. You may have to heat this up a little bit. I may have to do this off camera. Too. There we go. Actually, if you lift up the arm, it actually makes it a lot easier. So that all can pop off. Pop this back on, and she uh, she she looks fine without it. Doing the same thing I did for Hawkeye with Kate Bishop here. I think the likeness of this figure to Haley Steinfeld actually isn't as good as Hawkeye's. I think it's the actual sculpt this time. I think her cheeks are just a little too pinched to where it doesn't look exactly like her, but it's not too bad. I don't know what it is, if it's just my actual camera, if I'm just seeing things weirdly, but in person, you know, on the camera, I should say, her eyes look a little bit more spread apart than it does in person. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. Uh, and also her skin tone isn't this tan in person. I think it's my camera doing this. I really need to get my computer fixed soon so I can use my better camera with actual white balancing, uh, unfortunately. But I do think that her face is a little grainy because of the face printing. They also um, have, I think they use some face printing in her cheeks, like mostly like, you know, to have her with red cheeks, just a little bit red. Um, it, it could be better, but I don't think it's absolutely horrendous. I, I do think they did a better job Overall, with Hawkeye's likeness, though. Lip color's fine, though. The actual, uh, the actual sculpt in the eyes, all that looks fine for what it is. Like the eyebrows, too. Um, and then the actual sculpt in the hair and the ponytail uh, is pretty good. It's just not a lot of paint going on in there. This is also pretty... feels like a soft... Pretty too much of a soft plastic. I thought there was articulation here, but I don't think there is. So just be careful. You may accidentally rip this out because it is soft. It is glued in here, and it's a softer plastic i should say her outfit um looks pretty nice with the actual colors it's this very light purple almost pinkish a little bit of a darker more faded purple i wouldn't say faded but it's definitely a, um, a different color purple in the chest uh this time around i think it's more prominent that this elbow looks a little bit more yellowish with the um you know the the pinless tech i should say uh so I'm, I don't think it's a god-awful problem, but if it persists, I can see people getting really annoyed with something like this. Very minor, uh, you know, paint apps like silver right there, as well as some silver on the, uh, it actually looks like a metallic, almost a metallic purple right here too, but some silver, which has a little bit of purple splotched in the silver there, unfortunately. But the wrinkles as well as this lighter purple there, all that looks really nice. They even did some, like, you could see textures in her uh, bicep there, and that's really cool. You have the cuffs right here, just molded, or uh, painted in black, I should say. Looks like the black is bleeding onto the purple just a little bit. 
and you have these hands that she came packaged with, which actually have some really nice uh, details on the back of the hand. And you do have that paint, with that black on the thumb there that I think is really clean. The skin tone's not uh, not too bad. I think some of the sculpting muddles up the uh, actual thumb though. If I can get that to focus, for some reason I can't. And then this brace, whatever, I don't know exactly what this is called to prevent the, uh, the bowstring from destroying your inner arm there but that looks really nice too on the back here there's not uh, i guess based on the design you know there's some areas here i feel like and if i'm wrong then i'm wrong but it seems like there should be paint here and here but we do have some consistent paint on her you know around the rib area so that's nice and some pretty decent wrinkles i also like that it looks like a separately sculpted uh waistband here that looks really good. This soft plastic piece with all these arrowheads with a little bit of paint on there. But it's, uh, it looks really nice, but it's mostly in this black mold there. I don't know if I talked about this, but these arrows, I wish they, you know, came out too. <clears throat> Excuse me, not a lot of paint, unfortunately. At least a little, I, I don't know what they look like either. So I, I'm giving them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt, but I do think there should be a little bit of paint here. Kind of like I'm pretty sure Hawkeyes even has you know paint on the inside there, but not on the back, unfortunately. So getting onto the pants, you know, you have some pretty nice uh, wrinkles sculpted in there, and you have some nice patterning around like around the waist here and uh, the thighs. It's a nice light. It's pretty dark gray, um, I should say. Um, you know, mold overall, and similar to Hawkeye, it seems like they molded this a little bit with a type of uh, material for the pants. I think it's more prominent in Hawkeye's figure than this one though. And there's some details on the back of the thighs there. A very small purple, uh, purple uh, like band or whatever this is painted around there. And I actually think that paint is really clean for how thin that's supposed to be. One thing I wanna mention is that the where the waist meets the shirt, it is a little bit, you can very much see that sculpt separating a little too much. I don't think it's got awful though. Pinless tech in the knees. This time though, they did have consistent, uh, you know, sculpting on the back of the knees with these lines there. So that's cool to see. And then you have some wrinkles around the, uh, you know, the calves and the shins. There's nice design pattern, whatever it says with these lines going on the front of the shins to the knees. The boots look really good too. With um, with Hawkeye as well as Kate Bishop, I can see people reusing these legs for different purposes. I mean, maybe not the waist because of how this is all sculpted with some basically one piece, but you can pop these hips out and use them for another female character if you wanted to. Same thing with Hawkeye. Those pants are really nice on him too. Uh, I like these attention to details with the, uh, the zippers slightly halfway down on the boots. That looks nice. Not a lot of paint in there though, which is molded in this glossy black uh, detail. Uh, but it doesn't look bad with some wrinkles around the ankles too. And then that's what the bottom of the feet looks like. Do I have a left? Do I have two left feet? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But if I do, she stands fine. I don't, I think it's just my mind playing tricks on me. Um, oh, wow. I don't actually don't know. Yikes. I'll have to look into that. Articulation is not as good as Hawkeye's here, I would say, because he has the extra neck joint, but it's not too bad here either. There's an actual ball joint here that a lot of these figures have been using you know, in the Marvel Legends line. It can go side to side. The up motion actually isn't too bad. Her ponytail gets in the way though. I think if you remove this strap though, you might get it a little bit better. Please stop auto-focusing. We do also have a uh, downward motion that could also be a little bit better, but the rotation, there's nothing wrong there. I think she actually, I was going to say she could have better butterfly joints, but these don't move too bad, honestly. Arms do go all the way around as well. We have upper arm swivel. Not uh, just as gummy as uh, Hawkeyes, but they're really not that bad here, I, I would say. Uh, double jointed elbows there. And we do have a swivel at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist. This is for every set of hands that she comes with. And this is a little, this one in particular is a little bit tight in the inside motion. Ball jointed waist, so forward. Well, that's the back, I should say. That's the forward. I, I, I need to sleep. <laughs> side to side. And the rotation is a little too tight for my liking. So I'm a little afraid to rotate that. Legs don't go forward that much, unfortunately. I mean, they, they look fine going forward, but they're not as good as Hawkeye's, actually. And his is even a little bit more limited. And the back motion isn't great either. 
The splits are decent, upper thigh swivel, you do get double jointed knees, pretty good down, really good up, and then we do have ankle rockers. Quick size comparisons with the two figures I usually bring out size comparisons for. Over on the far left, that's the black suit Spider-Man from Marvel Legends, which is going to be a little bit taller than both figures. Over on the far right, that's the first ever Black Series Mando, which because Black Series is shorter than Marvel Legends, it's going to be shorter than both of these figures. And I thought Kate Bishop was supposed to be much shorter compared to Hawkeye, but in real life, both these actors are pretty close in height. So I guess they're using the real life measurements, which is fine with me. Overall, I do really like these figures. I think Hawkeye is the better figure compared to Kate Bishop, but not by much, honestly. Both of them are pretty solid as is. I do think Jeremy Renner's likeness is a little bit better. I do like the detailing in both of these figures just about equally. I do think the articulation is a little bit better than Jeremy Renner's though. The range of motion as well as that extra neck articulation really works well. It helps that he comes with like one or two extra accessories compared to Kate Bishop, but none of them come with removable arrows. I really wish that that was a thing as well as paint on the actual arrows on the quivers would have been nice. But the actual detailing, even though there's some minor paint apps, I do think the overall paint that they have on here on the body, just, and of course the faces, like I said earlier, is really nice. Articulation is pretty solid. And these are really fun figures. It's really nice to finally have these in my collection. These are getting a little bit more pricey, of course. I think these were like at the $22 to $25 range, maybe $22.99 uh, when I pre-ordered these. So hopefully if they haven't gone to 25 bucks, uh, or if you want to wait for a sale, uh, you won't be, you know, pinched a little bit if you want to get these figures. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already comment down below, what you think about the figures, what you think about the review, leave a like, share amongst your friends, follow me on Instagram for more content over there. And I'll see you guys later.